Hello, boys and girls. My name is Mrs. Mariano. I'm a second grade teacher at Centerville Elementary School, and I'm excited because I get to share a bedtime story with you today on Cubby's Corner. Um, today is a special day. It's actually a snow day. That's the day I've chosen to record my video for you. And I have a friend here with me who is going to be sharing the story. I collect snowmen and today's a snow day. And what a perfect day for me to share my story with you. Have you ever made a snowman? Maybe today you did. And wondered like what happens to them at night when we go to bed, what happens to them? Well, the story I'm gonna share with you today is called Snowmen at Night. And it is by Carolyn Booner and the pictures are by her husband, Mark Booner. And they wanted us to think, well, when we wake up the next day and we go out and see our snowman that we built yesterday, did it change? Why did it change? What happens to them at night? So I wanna share this fun story called Snowman at Night, and let's see if we can find out what they might do. There's a little boy. He's rolling up the snow to make his snowballs. Snowmen at night. One wintry day, I made a snowman, very round and tall. The next day, when I saw him, he was not the same at all. His hat had slipped. His arms drooped down. He really looked a fright. It made me start to wonder, what do snowmen do at night? Hmm. What could they be doing at night? Think about it. Let's see if your ideas are right. I think that snowmen start to slide when it gets really dark off the lawn and down the street right into the park. There they are sliding down the street. They gather in a circle while they wait for all the others sipping cups of ice cold cocoa made by snowmen mothers. And there they are enjoying their ice cold cocoa, not hot cocoa. That's not gonna work for a snowman. <gasps> then the snowman games begin. They line up in their places, each one anxious for his turn in the snowman races. I wonder who will win. After everyone has had a chance at racing once or twice, they go on over to the pond to do skating tricks on ice. Oh, look at them skating. Looks like some maybe fell down. It's another fun thing you can do on a snow day is go ice skating. Let's see what else they might do at night. Sometimes they start giggling and then they act like clowns. They bump into each other till they all fall down. There they are. Oh, what's the snowman made? Well, looks like he made a snow angel. You can do that in the snow too. They gather up their snowballs. The pitcher takes his aim and underneath the moonlit sky, they play a baseball game. Look at that, playing baseball with snowballs. Some of you may play baseball in the springtime. 
not in the winter. Oh, look carefully, look at the moon. Can you see? Ah, he looks like a snowman. That's kind of neat. No one knows just how it started, but soon it's quite a sight. With snowmen throwing snowballs in the world's best snowball fights. Here they are. Then it's time for sledding. It's a wild ride down the hill. Look at them go. Wahoo! They yell. This is by far the snowman's biggest thrill. Finally, they're tuckered out and getting sleepy, so they slowly gather up their things and one by one they go. And back home. So, if your snowman's grin is crooked or he's lost a little height, You'll know he's just been doing what snowmen do at night. Uh, and it looks like these snowmen are also playing on the playground swings at night. So, were any of the things they talked about things that you thought they might do at night. All fun things to do when it snows out, that's for sure. So I hope you enjoyed Snowman at Night. And the next snow day, maybe you'll get to build a snowman and see how he maybe changes overnight. Thank you, boys and girls. And we will see you on Monday morning.